radio scene. Right now, coming up, we have my man Fox out of New Jersey, and um, he's from a production group called Zing and Fox. Zing is like X-I-N-G and Fox, F-O-X, and they're out of Jersey, and they worked with some groups back in the day, and uh, right now we have Fox on the cell frequency about to talk to us because he's has, he has an adventure going on that they go by the word Death Rugs. Death Rugs is definitely in the building, so everybody, can you please give it up for my man Fox? <laughs> Fox, what's going on? Hey, how you doing, man? Thanks for having me. Oh, man, thanks for talking to us, man. You got a lot of big things going on. I got my eyes on you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. So now you're straight out of Jersey, correct? Yes, sir. All right, all right. And and um, back in the day, you you would produce different people as Zing and Fox. Um, who are some of the artists that you produce? Uh, well, the, the first first full length we put out was uh, with King Once and Architect called Mathematics. About that, about 2006. All right. That was our first Zing and Fox full length. You might have to move a little bit. And move because you're breaking up. Okay, I'm hearing like a delay. Yeah, it may turn some. Are the mics too loud? Is do you have your computer on in the background? Nah, nah. I'm not speaking phone. All right, it don't sound. It doesn't. It doesn't yeah. sound that way. Does okay. So now, um, say that again. Who were some of the artists you produce in the past? Okay, yeah. Well, the, the first album we did was uh, with Tame One from the Artifacts. It's called Spasmatic. Okay. We released in 2006. Okay. Um, we did a track with Capadonna and uh, a couple other uh, Govmatic. We did a lot of engineering for, for those guys. We used to work at a studio in Livingston, and uh, a lot of different crews from Jersey came through there. All right. So we did okay. a lot of engineering work for a lot of guys. Okay. So now, after doing that, I, you've got you uh, got into the um, you know the rug business, I should say. And I just was wondering, you know, how did that come about? Well, basically, uh, I'm a third generation in the flooring business. It's Fox Floors. And uh, they used to have, like my grandpa started, they used to have uh, stores in Brooklyn and Staten Island and Long Island and started in the late 40s. Okay. And uh, so I've been just, I've been doing it all my life. And, um, like, I have the studio set up in the back of the carpet store, so I'm always kind of doing my music thing during the day. And... Uh, Basically, I, you know, I always wanted to try to do something different with the business and put my own stamp on it. And um, I have all this carpet laying around. So, so what happened was um, we're, we're, we're working on this, this old school album right now uh, called Genre. And uh, we did a track with Eric Sermon. And, and just as a gift, just to show him some love, I made, made this EPMD rug. And I never really made these kind of logo rugs before. And um, brought it up, brought it up to him, brought, dropped it in on his floor in the studio, and he really loved it. And it kind of just—that was basically the night Jeff Ruggs was born. He, he gave me that spark that I needed to, to start doing this, and, and really saw what we could do with this. And I basically taught myself, start making these, these logo rugs. And you know what really drove me was doing uh, the old school logos of the groups that I, you know, came up listening to, just to show some love back. It was, it was you know. The, that's that's what we that we grew up on, and it's easy. It was easy for me to do because it wasn't like work. I was, mm -hmm. you know, just doing an X Clan rug or something, or a Black Sheep or Artifacts or you know any of these any of those groups that that I've been working making these rugs for. It's um, it's like a labor of love, man. Okay, all right. That that's very interesting, right there. That's, it's, it seems very inspirational on in how you put things that you like in your job together, and some people can't find that. And it's good that you were able to take something you like and one of your talents and put it together to make it something more enjoyable for you. Now, can we go back to that uh, EPMD rug? I know we were showing that it should be like frame one. 
Okay, so now um, Fox, tell us what was was it like? Like, how did you bring this rug to Eric and Parrish or Eric? Well, it was just Eric. Basically, what happened was. So I said we had did a song with them a couple months prior, mm -hmm. and um, they called me up and they wanted they knew, they knew I did carpet, and they asked uh, Kim asked me if I could make a, a Death Squad logo rug or or get one made up for them. And uh, like I said, I never really did any any logo rugs before. Never really thought about doing anything like that. And I just happened to have some yellow and red carpet laying around. I said let me let me try and make this EPMD you know logo. Um, this is, so, so basically just, just did that, wanted to give it to E as a gift. And, um, you know, it, it just happened from there, man, you know. Wow. So I was, we were blessed to, to uh, have the opportunity to go back to the E, and, you know, he, he really gave me that spark to, to start this. Wow. What did he say when he seen it? Oh, it, it lit up the room. We, we, put, we put it down on the floor in the studio. He came downstairs, and just the, the energy in the room was... It was like electrifying, man. It, was, it just it lit up the room. It changed the whole vibe of the room. And um, it was just an incredible experience, not to mention just being, you know, it's Eric Sermon. So it was like, you know, it just as a fan, right? it, it was just an incredible, um, you know, it was like surreal. Okay. So is he I mean, is he um, part of with you on this, Death Rugs? Or? Yes, we're, part, we're partners in this. Oh, okay, okay. Nice, nice, yeah. nice. That's good. Um, now oh, yeah, I, right from Trump. That was, uh, that's how we did it. <laughs> okay you know he's always he's an entrepreneur that man right there he knows you know oh, yeah how to make things work so now um I, there's a picture of you or not you but like dmc holding a rug how did that come about what was dmc's you know how did he see like sound when he seen the rug well, well basically what uh what i started doing when i started getting this going i would i would uh make a rug tweet it put it on facebook tweet it directly to the artist and most of the times they would see it and, you know, want it. So basically I was like, you know, I made this for you. And, and you know, I spoke, he couldn't be touched with his man. And then two days later, me and Eric met him in Queens, gave him the rug. And, you know, it was just it was a crazy experience just to meet Gabe. Oh, okay. You know, and just be, able to get, just be able to give him, just to be able to give him something, you know. Right, give right. Give him something back. They, you know, all these guys gave, me, gave us such good music over the years. That you know you can listen to and you get chills listening to, and then to be able to just uh, give them something back that they're going to have in their house or hang on their wall and see every day, and, and be able to, to give back like that, and that's just it's a really good feeling. Wow, that's good. That's definitely good. I know what you mean. Um, so now I seen another picture. Like, okay, with the rugs, like the one DMC was holding, it seemed pretty big in a picture. How long does it take for you to make something like that? Depending on the logo, they take you know a couple hours. I, mean, I make them during the day, so in between like waiting on cu customers and doing what I do at the carpet store, I'll cut it away. They're all cut by hand. Wow! You know, with a with a uh, like a razor knife. Really? And um, yeah, so it's all cut and steamed together using a bunch of different kind of carpets. So it could take a couple hours. I could start one one day, finish it the next night. And, or you know, if it's quiet during the day, we don't got a lot of customers. I'll, I'll bang one out during during the day, but some of them could take a while. Okay, what what's the biggest one someone ordered? Who ordered the biggest rug you ever made? You mean size wise? Size, yes. Uh, you know, the, the average size that we we've, we've been doing them. Most of the ones you've seen a picture, let's say, are like four by five. They're not. They're not. You know. Yeah, three by five, four by six, around that, like a smaller area rug, basically. Okay. You know, because right. it's easier to do when the logo, when it's a bigger rug, I can make the logo bigger. Right, right. You know, does so. it does it matter how many colors? Nah, whatever. It, it really does. It, it's easier to do with less colors, but right. if it's got to have more colors, or I'm gonna add some another element to it, I'll do what I gotta do. So now, like I noticed, you have one with Red Man. And um, I was just looking at the fonts. Like, how are, are the fonts hard to do, or is that computer generated? No, well, I mean it's all it's all hand cut. So it's I got to you know get their logo and trace it out, and you know there's a certain technique I have that I do it. Right. Okay. But um, you know, so, some logos cannot be done. You know, certain things, certain detail you can't get because it's just carpet. It's not painted on. It's not right. printed on or anything. So you can only cut carpet so 
thin until it falls apart, so you can't get full details. So certain logos, and obviously the ones I pick, the ones that can actually be done. You know. Okay. All right. All right. So now, how can if people wanted to, how can they? purchase these type of rugs because you can personalize them for not just rappers but if someone wanted their zodiac sign you could do that too right or, yeah basically or, like any, anything you can think of we could do you know as far as, far as the, the rugs for the MCs what we're doing is we're getting licensing like I'm not selling any of the any of the ones that you see on the page if we don't have like a license for it I'm not selling you know selling anybody's logos or anything like right, that that's, that's right. the stage we're at right now where we're making deals with certain artists to be able to uh, sell the rugs. Okay. Now I think you just as far as, go uh, go ahead. No, I say but as far as the you know personal ones or special requests, yeah, we're we're, we're starting to take special requests, and you know you could have your label, the record label, radio station, your, anything basically uh, on a rug, you know. And, and we're we're marking it more as like studio rugs. You know, the size is kind of like fits perfectly. You know, in the middle of your studio floor, there you throw it on the wall. Mm -hmm. um, so. All right. Um, I think you just saw one the radio scene too. <laughs> so I might have to, I might have to call you on radioscene.com dot com and get a radio. Oh, scene most definitely, rug. man. So uh, I'll check out the logo tonight and, and see. We'll, we'll we'll figure something out. Okay, definitely. Um, so yeah. So how can these people get in touch with you, or how where should they go if they will want you know to purchase one? Okay. Well, right. Basically, right now we show them off on the uh, like Facebook slash Death Rugs. And that's where you can see most of them. Um, and on, we have a link to, on DeathSquadRecords.com. Uh, if you go to DeathRugs.com, that's where you can buy the certain ones that we have available right now, which are the licensed ones, which are um, DPMD, we have Naughty by Nature, and we have a Zulu Nation rug, and there's a few more that we're about to roll out when we officially launch it. Right now, it's just kind of... It's not the official launch hasn't happened yet. We're just kind of feeling it out right now. Okay, but we're getting close. Yeah. There's, there's an official website. We're working on a new website. Okay, okay, all right. Deathrugs.com. You can order stuff. Okay, so it's at that stage where like some stores are open up for a year, and then after they've been open for a year, they they have a grand opening. Um, you got to yeah. build, build up that stash first. So definitely gotcha. Okay, Fox man. Um, thanks for come calling. Um, now I also know that you previously did. Uh, so up some music you got an album out right with zing and fox yeah we have it, it it's uh we haven't had no release date yet we just dropped this, the second single which is called bang which has uh treach promoted by nature do it all from lords the underground and kai will from lord gang and um it's a really good video these guys shot 211 media group that's do it all's crew um and it's out you know we just dropped it out last week so it's really different and it's a good idea what where, where we're coming from the first single we did was with Doodle Bugs and Big World Planets, mm -hmm. and we filmed it at Occupy Wall Street last October. And, uh, you know, we're about to drop this album. It's coming soon, but it's going to be all gold and never MPs over our tracks. All right. Become okay. different. All right. We got we got a big display of the rugs being shown right here, right now. The world is getting an eyeful. De La Soul. <laughs> and what's crazy is that we doing it right off your Facebook. I just want the world to know that's how we get down here at Radio Scene. We can jump on your Facebook and display your pictures just like this. As you see it, real time, real radio, Fox. You're going to love us, Fox. <laughs> <laughs> I like it, man. But um, all right, man. I, I think that's it for now, man. We, you know, we'll, we'll chat again later on. Definitely. Keep you posted and everything. All right, man. Thanks for calling in tonight. Yeah, man. Thanks for having me. Peace to everybody out there. Peace to uh, E-Double. And uh, do it all, you know, you guys out there in Connecticut and worldwide. Actually, before you go, go ahead and introduce this video. We're going to play it. Okay, you ready? Yep. Okay, this is Bang featuring Tretch from Naughty by Nature. Do it all from Lords the Underground and introducing Kai Will from Laura Gang. It's a Jersey thing and it was shot by 211 Media Group. And it's got cameos from Mike Bivens, Kid Chocolate, a championship boxer. Hakeem Green from Channel Live, and it's a really good video. It's really fun. It kind of shows a little Zing and Fox in action there. You'll see a couple rugs in there, and uh, it's just something different. We're trying to bring something different to the game. No doubt, no doubt. Thank you for calling. Jersey, what up? <laughs>
bang the system. The road is rough and the shoes are worn. The mind's alright cause the liquor's warm. Pavement's long for the strong we mourn. The journey's short but the walk is me. Got down with a steam from Black 19. I'm that nigga on your Mac Pro screen. Do it, mister. Pose for pictures. Have your some broke me fixed. Right, wrong, wrong. Love, hate, hate, chrome, stuff, stuff Drake, hate, hate. Still think Christ for my energy. Yep. Right wing wanna censor me. Go hard, blog on misconception. Despite if I risk rejection. Spirit of my man, Ross Baraka. Killer cop marched to his own Baraka. We pray for change. Until then we gon' bang, bang, bang. We pray for change. Until then we gon' bang, bang, bang. Hang the shoddy, hang the listing. Bang your body, bang the system. Bang the system, bang your body, bang the system. Hang the no folks, slang is no joke. Avoid the crossroad, bang for pro folks. Fade trunks, need to taste the chunk. Made your turn on a paper hunt. Oh, a pickle, one a dollar, fuck a nickel. Now your tongue's none. Oh, all tickles, rap a ripper, trap a tripper. Nothing, a lick up, kid to pick up. All oh, hit up. It's cool, tell the trigger hiccups. Get up, a dime from the doormat. Whoa, I'm your cat. Call for follow format. Bang and avoid the freeway. Hey, my knee day, bang for leeway. Radio Scene.com. Radio Scene.com.